No one is expecting it. Someone's expecting out there. I was going to goddamn say something. Pregnant. And then you interrupted me by being pregnant. And now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that was a secret. Welcome to Watch and or Complain. I am your host. Episode. Episode 170. <laughs> nice to meet you, 170. I am your host. <laughs> <laughs> it's my my uh, prisoner prisoner number. Yeah, okay. I'm your host, Philip. With me as always is Rob. Philip. <laughs> that would suck if we were both Philip. Uh, Philip and or Rob. Or, or, or Terrence. Terrence, you ever, Terrence and Philip. You ever like have a conversation with someone where like they have the same name as you? And so you call them Rob, or you know, in my case, I call them Rob. But then when someone else tries to get in on the conversation and they say, Rob, like, who are you talking to? <laughs> and it totally fucking throws the rhythm right off. Also, I avoid other people with my name because they stole my name. That's a good point. Assholes. My neighbor, she loves to call me Bob, which is great because she'll call me, she'll bounce between Rob and Bob. And I'm like, hopefully, she hopefully she's talking to the same person. Rob. Bob. On the last episode, we promised that you'd wear a shirt. I am wearing a shirt. Now, there we go. <laughs> All done. You are wearing a shirt. That's right. But on the n- next episode that we record, I will wear my whacking off shirt. The 171. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> next week is what he means. <laughs> Marker. You know what? Hold on. This could be a whack this shirt. This is going well. well this Our <laughs> sticker. No wonder we have so many fans. We do. New fans. We have 11 views. We, wait, 107. No. Wow. 11 700. views. No, it was 11, 11 people were like, who the fuck are these people? There's a bunch from Sticker Mule. M- dot com, Sticker Mule. Just say it over and over again. <laughs> say it in the wrong order. All right. Welcome. To watch and or complain. I'm just going to edit all dot that com. out. Now, uh, today we're talking about The Last of Us, episode Woo! one. See, when you just do that, when you're like, I, like uh, the scene I don't know go. what I'm supposed to yeah, do. It's more fun that way. <laughs> In 2003, a mass fungal infection. It starts. I've, I've had one of those. In, in the, what, 70s? When it's like a Dick Cavett show? When they're talking and they're all smoking and Baghetti is, uh, is there. Anybody who, of course, watched uh, The Wonderful Silicon Valley uh, knows Big Head uh, uh, was like the Dick Cavett character, which I liked a lot. I, I never played the game The Last of Us. I've never owned a PlayStation. Neither have I. I, I could never. I couldn't play... I've tried console games, and I just I'm no good at them. I I I I'm the guy that's like running towards the wall, and I forget what which, each button does. Which is does. hilarious because you play PC games. PC games, it's yeah, the but same I know. Thing at this point, I don't know. I I I can't figure out the controller. It'll be press X, Can and I forget which one is fucking X. You want to know something interesting? They have added keyboard and mouse support to the Xbox. Really? Yeah, that's pretty fucking For, cool. As long as the game like supports the, it, yeah. yeah. Which is uh, which? <clears throat> guess what's coming out. Age of Empires 2. Holy moly. I've already got that. Age of Empires 2. The, the definitive, definitive edition. Whatever, That's what I fucking got. The console version. You know what I did install is I installed uh, Halo the Master Chief Collection, which is like all six games. Yeah, you mentioned it before. Dude, I tried Halo Reach, and I was like, ah, it's boring. And I played Halo CE, which I guess is the first one. Um, and I got like five or six episodes in or whatever you call it. And I just got fucking bored. And... I lo- so, like, the best game, in my opinion, that's ever been made is Bioshock. And with Bioshock, the one thing I loved about that it... That was just re-released. On, on the Switch, it was re-released, too. But well, there was an HD version of it that came out, But there's out, a too. new remastered, whole new version of it. Like, really? it's it's the first one, fully remastered. The mechanics are, are slightly different. Like, I'll have to check made it out. A, a lot better. But that game, I love that when you're in a spot, it's like, okay, now you got to go here to get the blah, blah, blah. There's a little arrow that tells you the direction to go in because I love the gameplay, but when it's like, oh, like in, in this part of Halo, it's like, oh, you, you've got to escape the ship, the Covenant ship. And you've got to walk through this door and then remember if you went left or if you went right and then turn right there. And maybe you have to go up the stairs. So, like, dude, I don't want to fucking remember that. I just want now. fucking gameplay. Like, maps are fine too, yeah. but this is just fucking wander around gameplay. That shit bores the fucking shit out of me and I just get angry as I'm doing it. That's why Bioshock was perfect. It was like, yeah, turn this way, turn this way, turn this way. And there's gameplay going on, and you're like, where am I going? There's my arrow. Okay, great. That, but, yeah. um, but I never played The Last of like Us. And you would like The Last of Us because it's like a set path. See, yeah, I, can, I can do that. But um, right when the show starts, uh, I like how they set up um, 
that it was very real. I, 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 and, and I like the way they did it because if there's one thing I really don't like, it's when they try to give a reason for like the zombie apocalypse for in fear, the, or sorry, in the walking dead. I love the way that they just said, uh, it's in all of us already. It's just kind of there. It's always there and it's there when you die. What turned it on? We don't know. Like, I, I like when there's that little bit of mystery to it. Mm. And same with this. I like how there was, yeah, dude, if it was to ever get into humans, it would, we go it, totally fucked up. And that's all you need. The, your brain can make up the rest of it. It's, it's science fiction. So your brain makes up the rest of it for itself. I don't like shows that tell you every single fucking, like, Star Wars with midichlorians. Don't leave that out. You've got to leave something to the imagination. And so right out of the gate, I, I liked that this, that this did that. Um, the majority of that first show, I really, really enjoyed. I think they had a great setup of the characters, um, of, uh, of uh, uh, Peter Pascal's character. Um, I keep on forgetting his name. Um, what's his name? You should have his name written down there. Joel. Is is it Joel? Joel. Joel. Yeah. yeah. Um, I kept on thinking it was something else, but um, he's, uh, you know, the, the setup for him is great. I think the character is great. I love the way his daughter gets killed. Not that I like, I wanted to see her get killed, but I, I'm glad that it gave him a reason to be kind of a father character to the, to the new girls as the mm -hmm. show goes. But I just, I like the setup. Um, the only thing I, I can say that I didn't like was, um, <laughs> it felt like it was like, okay, that was what, 2000? And then we're in 2019 or something. Uh, so yeah, we it, skip ahead. Yeah, skip ahead like 15, 20 years. It felt like someone went up to Pedro Pascal and, and had like some some gray spritz and went, psh, psh, yeah. And that was it. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Go like, but why bother too much? Like, I, I, I get it. Some people but don't like, age that well. A, I, or, or a that scar. Good. Or maybe put a little bit of a paunch on him and as the show continues, he loses a little bit, like something. All they do is like spritz his hair in gray, which I thought was funny. But other outside of that, I liked how there wasn't a massive amount of, okay, here's everything that has happened since everything broke. Like, because yeah, that would make no sense to your character. This is the kind of show that will give you the origin as we go. As, as we're going, yeah. yeah. And, you know, to the, to the TV show, or to the story, to the characters, they don't have to explain anything to anybody. You know what I mean? It's not like you're watching a fucking news program that's like, do you remember back in 2000 when blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? I, I like the way all of that came together. Um, so that that first show, I, I really enjoyed. I liked that it was a slow burn. I much prefer slow burns to big fucking explosions like those garbage Marvel movies. We got into um, some action in the first one. We did, but it was more story-driven. And I say garbage Marvel movies, only the new Marvel movies are garbage. The old ones uh, that ended with the originals, uh, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, uh, the Hulk, and Black Widow, those ones are great. All the new ones blow. Um, but we can have that argument at a later time. But, yeah, I'm sorry. I've been babbling like a fucking idiot monkey for too long. What did you think of... Uh, of uh, The Last of Us. I'm going to say this every episode, I'm sure, but it's so beautiful. Mm. Every shot is so beautiful. And more so uh, when we get to episode two. But like... Oh, where, do you know where, the, where this show was filmed? Uh, no. I could find out for you. Where do you think it was filmed? Canada. But what part of Canada? Hmm, Vancouver? Close, Alberta. Oh, okay. Oh, just like... Um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Wow, Ghostbusters, great. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. Every shot is is they they are meticulous, meticulous with yeah. wanting to make every shot count. And like, it's funny how these episodes we don't get that much progression. Really, the first one kind of do, but like the second one, there really isn't that much progression that happens. Like, you, you can sum it up mm -hmm. really easy. But it's so beautiful. Every single shot, you're just mesmerized. I found the outside shots, especially there's more of them in the second episode. Really, really like those outside shots. Uh, it just, I, I, I felt like as I was watching, I was watching, it was Leslie and I watching it. You could see which parts were kind of inspired from the game. And they were like, okay, the game gave us this kind of blueprint. Let's make it much bigger because we're in a different medium. Um, and then there were parts that you could feel were gameplay from the games. So like oh, yeah. when they're in the, the, 
when they're when they're going through at the end of the first episode when they're going through the outside like getting from from the 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 inside bordered area to the outside that felt absolutely like a game part when they're walking over like bridges and shit to get outside that felt like a like a like a game part but in a good way cuz yeah. like they could have made it look like you know those halo first person right. shooter things oh that that was bad yeah. the, like the halo tv show's fun Fun, Obviously. yep. But when they went into that first person mode, you, I could l- just leave it. Yeah, I was like, "Come it. on, God. we know it's a fucking it's video dumb. game." But in this, they did they did it smart. They they made it look like a, a, a movie. Yeah, it Instead felt like TV like I said, show. they yeah. they had a blueprint on the show, and they said, "Okay, we're a different medium, yep. so let's celebrate it as a different medium." And and this whole TV series is done shot by shot. Yeah, like the video game. They it's it's. So much an homage to the video game. Yeah, it's not even like let's take Resident Evil and just do our own Resident fucking Evil thing movie. with it. Yeah, yep. it's just like where are you going with this? This doesn't make sense. Like it, it feels like it doesn't want to. Uh, it, it wants to honor the video game, but it also wants to be its own thing, and uh, it, like not be its own thing is tell an entirely different story, but tell the 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 story. For a different medium in a different way, it's almost like when you're taking you know these idiots who are the book better than the movie, movie's better than the book. Like these are two different fucking mediums. The book is always going to be better because you're the one that's coming up with it in your brain. But this is the difference between a, 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 a video game, which is a visual medium, and a movie where in a video or game you control, movie. yeah, you control what you want. Whereas in a movie, you're taking on on a journey, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I've I, the other thing that I, I, I have to say um, so far, not one. Act, not one disappointing actor. Everybody has been great. I've I enjoyed loved, every single actor so far. I love that Tess was the <clears throat> lead actress from Fringe. Oh, was she really? Eh? Yeah. Uh. And I was just like, it took me a while. I was, I was like, who, what? Huh? Was it Homeland? <laughs> no. Huh? For me. Fringe. Oh my goodness. It was. Um, was it to- Tommy? Is his uh, Tommy? Yeah. His brother Tommy. I'm looking at Tommy, and I'm like. Fuck, do I know Tommy from? And I realized he's uh, the bad Terminator from Terminator uh, Dark Fate. And uh, I was like, oh, that's right. Hey, I wonder if this guy can act because he's effectively just a Terminator in Terminator Dark Fate. And he's great. He does a great fucking job of not being a cardboard cutout uh, uh, because he's got he's got a big role to get across in a small amount of time. And I love, I think the actor did a great job. So I was impressed by him. I'm always impressed by Pedro Pascal. Uh, the the um, lady who's Pedro Pascal's uh, girlfriend, Kate, I believe her name is. I can't remember her name. She's great. Uh, the the black lady who they, um, who's leading the resistance, who, who they get the girl, the girl, what's the girl's name? Uh, not Ellie. Sarah. Ellie. That's what it is. Who they get Ellie from uh, is great. Ellie, the girl playing Ellie is great. Like they're. So, so, so. Well, you you went into it, so let's just explain what happens. Uh, the fir- the first part, he- he's with his daughter. Uh, the daughter got him a watch. Yep. Um, then shit hits the fan. Yeah. And they have to escape the city, and they bring along the brother, and they go through the city, but the shit's hitting the fan, and yep. the pol- their truck. Yep. What, they get uh, smacked. They had smack over. and roll over. Yeah. <laughs> roll falls over. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls over. Uh, they have to split up. Then they come back together, and then uh, they, they, uh, his it, daughter ends up shot. That's right. Uh, then we go to modern twenty years times. later. Yep. Yeah, uh, he meets up with Tess. Shit's I did. Going down I, one thing I, I different way. I did like uh, that. I haven't seen a lot of other. Uh, the Walking Dead was not too afraid to do it. When Frank Darabont was there, they had the balls to do it. But then the, the Walking Dead, unfortunately, just kind of lost its teeth and turned into a bunch of, like, gumming zombies. But, well, yeah, and it just the, – the whole show became a social yeah. show. It, 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 let, like, it let fan outcry influence everything that happened on the show. But, yeah. um, like, you think of Dawn of the Dead when, uh, you know, those two kids jump out and they attack um, – uh, what's his name? Not Steven. Might be Steve, but uh, Ken Foray's character, and he has to shoot them and shit. Um, you never see kids uh, suffering, and not that you never do, but n- majority of the time you don't see kids suffering from uh, like a, a, an apocalypse, right? And I did like a lot that they open up 
the um, the tailgate, and the lady's like, I can't. And she walks away, and then you're like, oh, what's the problem? And then it shows Pedro Pascal carrying a kid's body, the kid who we had seen in the start, right? Uh, carrying this kid's body and throwing it in the fire. Because, of course, that's going to happen, but it's yeah. it's a ballsy move, man, to show uh, that, hey, you know, the majority of fucking kids are going to get wiped out by this. That's just kind of what has to happen. And I, I like that they had the guts to do that. Uh, I like that Dawn of the Dead did it. I know in, in the very first episode of The Walking Dead, remember uh, 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 Rick Rhymes runs into that little girl that's walking around carrying a teddy bear and fucking half her face is gone. Uh, I like that. I don't know what they did with um, the guy that, the black dude that Rick runs into. And the comics, his son got infected and he couldn't he couldn't bring himself to shoot his son. And that one episode ends with seeing the, the, the son's legs and he's shackled. He, he's tied him up so the son can't get away, but he couldn't kill him. I'm that's, like, that's, uh, that takes a lot of guts uh, to do that. And they very likely didn't do it the fucking show. He went to um, the other Walking Dead yeah, show. Yeah, Fear the Fear Walking, the Walking Dead. Dead. He's, he's awesome, but he's like... The, I got back into that show and I loved it. Really? But uh, it, it's still not great. Uh, the, yeah, and it's... That's one thing I want to see not happen with this show is Fear the Walking Dead unfortunately ran its course, I want to say, by the fifth second, season. Uh, I would say the second I'd, season. I'd give it to the fifth because... The end of the second season? And the reason I give it to the fifth is you wanted to see Rick's character turn into oh, a different guy. You're saying The Walking Dead. Yeah, you what did I say? Fear the Walking Dead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I meant The Walking Dead. Uh-huh. Um, because you want to see that character become a different person. You want to see that progression of the protagonist, right? Uh, and I, I think five seasons, and, and where Rick was a different guy at the end, when they were locked into that fucking van before they go into Shelbyville or whatever the fucking place was called, and he's like, we could take these people down if we wanted to. That's a different guy than in the start, and I it, like that. It really trailed off after Glenn died. Glenn was one of those right. characters people loved, yeah. and you got rid of him. That's unfortunate. Yeah. And, like, and it wasn't just that. I, they, I, they had nowhere to go from there. It was like... It, but it also felt like the introduction of Negan, even in the comic book. I fucking hate Negan. Negan's that a character, good character. Oh, I couldn't stand the character he, of Negan. He has played really well. But I just feel like they tried to take this. You know what? What? what the, the worst part of this show is how long it is per season. Yeah. If they were able to take the show and make it like. Yeah, like maybe six episodes. Six, yeah. Well, I would just say eight. Okay. But like, what is it? Like 16? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking stupid. But it, like, but uh, the reason I, I bring up The Walking Dead is it's a great comparison to this show. Yeah. And I'm hoping that this show doesn't go in that same direction where it just becomes kind of aimless after a while. Uh, so far, it doesn't feel like it's going to go like that, but there's only been, well, now three shows. I haven't watched the last one. That was yesterday. But... Um, the, 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 the So Tess and Joel end up having to take Ellie mm-hmm. uh, to... The Fireflies, right? Yep, or yep. to another group? Or yeah, to the, the Fireflies, fireflies but the, like the main hub of the Fireflies, yeah. I think, is where they got to Because go. Ellie was scratched or bitten yep. by one of these... Infected. Infected, and she's not turning. Also, I did like that you knew that's what it was right from, from yep. the jump, right? And they did not treat it like a, oh, type of reveal. She was like, yeah, you know, I got bitten... Look, I'm not fucking turning, so I don't turn. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I don't. It wasn't treated like, oh, my God, isn't this amazing? It was treated like, you know what it is. We know what it is. Yeah, oh, oh isn't that and oh, it's crazy? it's downplayed by attitudes within the group. Yep. Yeah. I, I, the, the Ellie's and Joel's um, dynamic. dynamic is great. It, it, it's, and it's, the reason it's so good is because it's two good actors. You know, we'll talk about a show um, that has no good actors, uh, correction, two good actors in it, and the rest of them are are like um, community theater actors called That 90s Show, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, this show, like I said, the, the, the acting is so good. The character, the actors care about their characters and yes, yes they, they, they understand that, you know what, they might do shit that you don't like, uh, as as a person, you would disagree with, but it doesn't matter because that's the character's decision. I just thought, uh, yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. It feels, it almost feels too like that, I think that first show was an hour and 22 minutes long. It feels like a little movie, a self-contained movie each episode. Yeah, it was, a, it was longer than I was expecting, but yeah, it was really good. Definitely feels like a movie. Yeah. 
and it conti- and it and two doesn't drop off. And no. we'll talk about that next. So say bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>